welcome back on my youtube channel in this video we are going to perform the matlab simulation of the boost converter in closed loop operation so the specifications of the boost converter are given as follows input voltage which we have considered as 200 volt and output voltage is 500 volt that is we have to regulate so it is a closed loop operation so we have to maintain the output voltage as 500 volt and for the given input voltage is 200 volt for this duty is calculated um, at the steady state the duty is calculated from 1 minus v in over v out okay so these are the boost converter specifications and if you know if you want to know like uh, what are the filter inductor and filter capacitor for the boost converter so you can calculate the the parameters of the filter filter components from this book uh, Mohammad H. Rashid Power Electronics Circuit Device and Applications so with the help of this book we have calculated the filter inductor and filter capacitor are as follows uh, for the switching frequency which we have considered as 1 kilohertz now let's move to the simulation so what thing we need for the closed loop operation of the boost converter we need the power circuit and the control circuit so first we will build the power circuit to build the power circuit we need a DC voltage source next we need IGBT with anti parallel diode and we need diode from the specialized technology fundamental blocks from the power electronics and we need series RLC branch and we need voltage measurement and we need go to block and from okay so now we just connect all the blocks together and we just see uh, we just make the boost converter model we want to measure the output voltage because the output voltage we want to regulate at 500 volt for input voltage 200 volt and input voltage also we want to measure so we just connected the voltage measurement it's kind of sensor uh, if we are performed in the real time applications okay we just rename all the blocks this is input this is we input voltage and we just change the value this is 200 volt okay and uh, the inductor parameters are uh, 96 milli henry so we just change here 96 milli henry and capacitor is 240 microfarad So here we just change 240 e to power minus 6 it is, it is micro and the load is 50 ohm okay now we need a scope to see the waveforms and the number of input ports we are considering too because we want to uh, check the input voltage and the output voltage together and so we can easily analyze sorry first we need to change the block name here it is input voltage and the take we can make it is global and 
this is output voltage wait now we can change the this is input and this is output and here we can change this name this is way out this is R load this is C filter capacitor and this is L filter inductor okay now what I want to do is I just want to make it is in uh, shadow mode so it will looks like this now this our this is our power circuit this power circuit has been completed okay so we just make it in box grid area now uh, the next task is to create the control circuit so the control circuit we want to regulate the output voltage at 500 volts so we need reference voltage so it will be uh, 500 and we need the actual voltage and later we need some block so it will be reference minus actual so we just subtract this is reference and this is actual voltage and it is given to the PID controller and the output is given to the PWM block BCDC converter okay and its output is given to the switch that is IGBT and MOSFET we just rename it PWM and we just give it to this part now we have to we just create a small area for this okay so this is our control circuit and this is our power circuit now we just tune the PID controller the values of PID controller I already tuned so it is 0 0.001 and it is 10 and the PWM generator here what is the switching frequency is 10 kilohertz okay uh, uh, we are keeping it initially to 1 kilohertz later we will change it to 10 kilohertz okay so now one more thing we need this is power GUI block so we just change the parameter inset from power GUI block we will keep it discrete touch 10 and 10 key power minus 6 and we, we will go to model configure parameters We want to make some settings on the model configure parameter. So, uh, in model configure parameter, we want to change the solver is a fixed step and back again sampling. And additional option we want to make that is sampling time. Fix fixed step size we want to make one key power minus five. Now we we just change the time to one and we will just run the simulation and we will just analyze okay sorry uh, one more thing we have to do here we need one gain block and it will be 1 divided by 500 now we will just run the simulation again So now you can see this is our output voltage and this is this yellow color is in um, input voltage and now what we're doing i'm just doing i'm just changing the switching frequency from one kilohertz to 10 kilohertz and now i'm analyzing and we'll see how the output voltage will respond so now you can see there is a very smooth output voltage and 
it is checking at a reference that is 500 volt and input is given as a 200 volts okay so this is the closed loop operation of the boost converter if you have any queries regarding this how can we design the pi controller you can ask me on the comment sections and if you haven't subscribed my channel go and subscribe the channel for the latest update and don't forget to like share and subscribe my channel thank you thank you very much